old news from Newgate, bringing you breaking news from 300 years ago. We're here in 1810, and Newgate Prison has been deemed wretched and deplorable. A committee was recently deployed to assess the conditions of Newgate Prison. The report is out, and we're here to give you the inside scoop. The committee, issued by the state of Connecticut, was initially embarrassed to release this report, recognizing that it's difficult to change such a radically wrong system. They also admitted, however, that the prison keeper is not to blame for this situation, claiming that he's doing the best he can. But we'll let our viewers be the judge of that. The committee has laid out four main components that are wrong with this site. The first being that the prisoners are unclean and have no accommodations for bathing. The second being that the prisoners are fairly healthy in terms of disease, However, their legs are swollen with tumors and running sores as a result of continually wearing shackles. The third component is that Newgate's remote location has made it nearly impossible to obtain decent food for the prisoners. And lastly, all of the men here are housed together. Hardened criminals, offenders, are mixed with inexperienced youth, ultimately creating a school of crime, and there is no incentive for these men to become better. The committee has judged that Newgate is essentially ineffective and it has a defective system. They urge the state to build a new prison facility closer to a large town with more amenities. And at the very least, if Newgate is to remain open, the bathing, food, clothing, and medicine situations need to be resolved. We'll see what the state does with these accusations and demands. But as for now, we're delighted to bring you historic news from this infamous site and stay with us for more old news from Newgate.